speaker today is internationally renowned uh, next level leadership readiness expert, management consultant, and author with more than two decades of leadership experience in major multinational companies around the world. He is the author of an international bestsellers, How to Become a World Champion of Public Speaking and Mastering Leadership the Mousetrap Way. He holds an MBA from Imperial College in London and has coached C-level executives, senior executives, bureaucrats, celebrities, United Nations diplomats, entrepreneurs, and professionals from over 50 nationalities. He is the CEO of Thought Expressions and Chief Mentor at Next Level Unlimited. He is also the 2017 World Champion of Public Speaking and has a mission to help 20 million people overcome their fear of public speaking. In this session, he will share with us why it is time to open the ring fence. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Minaj. All right, hello world. How are you feeling today? So type it in the chat box. How are you feeling now? I'm watching the chat box. All right, fantastic. I'm always delighted to speak to your group because your name, one country, one world, resonates with my value. Just now, my buddy Mike said, he always says, oh man, I like to say, oh cow. Oh cow stands for one country, one world. So today on your special day, as you start a new term with a new team, with a new sense of common purpose, I'd like to share with you three steps that you need to take to enhance your potential for global leadership. Because I will help also help you to discover something about you that you probably never realized before. So now let's get started in the interest of time. For this, you need to take a piece of paper and pen. Take a piece of, uh, take a pen and paper. And when you're ready, you can type it uh, on the chat so I know. So I will strongly invite you to do this exercise. So please do this and you, because you'll be glad that you did this, okay? So when you're ready, when you, when you have a pen and paper, just let me know. So like, okay, great. So here is what I want you to do. Write down the names of five of your best friends, excluding your relatives. So five of your best friends, excluding your relatives, exclude family members, exclude spouse, exclude fiancés, etc. Right? You ready? Write down the name of five of your best friends, excluding your relatives. All right. It must be human. Somebody said book is my best friend. Look at humans. Okay. Excluding your relatives. Got that? Five of your best friends. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, in that list, do you have anyone who is from your home country? If you have anyone from your home country. Yeah. Excellent. Please strike off those names. All right. Now, do you have anyone who is from your same race or ethnicity? Strike off those names. Do you have anyone who follows the same religion as you? Fabulous. Strike off those names. Do you have anyone who is of the same gender? Fantastic. Strike off those names. Now, now we're going to do a complex mathematical calculation which is to count the number of people you have remaining on that list. Now, the number of people remaining on that list, multiply that number by 20. Since it's a complex mathematical calculation, I'll give you some time. So the number you got is what I call your DQ, your diversity quotient. Now, if you look around the room, you will see people who are different from you. Please take a look at the people attending this session. You can see people from more than 100 countries, many watching over live stream and recording, right? So people from different countries and cultures and backgrounds converging to connect, communicate and collaborate. This is important because this is how the world will look like 100 years from now. So that's step one. Know your DQ, your diversity quotient. You probably read about DQ in my book, Mastering Leadership, The Mousetrap Way, but I'm very passionate about this because this is an essential component for if you're aspiring to be a global leader because diversity is your reality. Real leaders realize that. Whether you like it or not, diversity is your reality. Whether you want it or not, 
diversity is here to stay. We can't wish it away. It will never go away. So what does that mean to us? Globally, whether we like it or not, we will be forced to work with people who are different to us. We need to adapt. We, so I, I usually say we not, we not only tolerate diversity, we not only need to encourage diversity, we need to embrace diversity. So step number one, know your DQ. So that takes me to my second step. Open the ring fence. Have you ever wondered why most people have a low DQ, diversity quotient? It is because most people are living inside an invisible ring fence. So what's the ring fence? Imagine you have a plot of land and there is a fence around it. And the fence is it's designed to protect you from outsiders and restrict your movement and contain you within the ring fence. So that's a ring fence an invisible ring fence. But have you noticed that this process of programming starts from birth? As a child, uh, your prefrontal cortex, the uh, part of the brain is not fully developed, which means rational judgments are less likely. So we are more influenced through our emotions that shapes our beliefs, our values, our fears, and our hopes. So if you, of course, if you want to know more about this, you can also take a look at uh, one of my speeches on my YouTube channel where I share more about fear, how we you overcome your fear, because this is very important for us to know, but I don't want to go deeper into the science behind it. But if you're interested, I just type a link in the chat box for those of you who are interested to know. But the point here is, it turns out we were only born with two fears, the fear of falling and the fear of loud noises. Now the question is, where did we get the rest of our fears? We learn our fears. Now imagine this, as you were growing up, has anyone ever told you, don't accept food from strangers? Now, every stranger is a suspect. Outsiders becomes outcast. So we not only learn to fear, we fear each other. We are constantly fed with the fear of the other. So what are the consequences of that for you as a global leader? That's something to think about. Because knowingly or unknowingly, an invisible ring fence grows around you that limits your true potential as a global leader. And over time, this fear is amplified, transmitted, magnified, mutated, and even glorified. And communities fear other communities. Religions fear other religions. Races fear other races. Nations fear other nations. When you look at a person behind the name, 99.99% of the DNA is the same. So science is not dividing us. Even religious leaders are not dividing us. Even political leaders are not dividing us. They just take advantage of our willingness to stay divided. So we are letting ourselves be ring fenced. So my friends from around the world, open the ring fence and explore the world you will be glad that you did that. Because talk to your neighbor, smile at a stranger. Now, have you noticed that your best friends were once strangers? Have you noticed that? So have the courage to have conversations with people who look different, who have different belief systems, who hold different perspectives. Let people into your world and take a look into their world. Because when you open the ring fence, my friends, you will increase your DQ. Most importantly, you will increase your potential for global leadership. So step number one, know your DQ. Step number two, open the ring fence. That takes me to my third and final point, which is the power of the punch. Please take a look at the palm of your hand. Your hand, not my hand, okay? Palm of your hand, all right? So if you look at your palm of your hand, the five fingers of the hand are different. One is fat, one is straight, one is bent, one is long, one is short. They have different marks, different sizes, different shapes. A finger by itself is not strong. A finger by itself has little meaning. Of course, unless it's a middle finger, it has some meaning. But if you were to crawl your fingers into a fist, that's when you get the full power of your punch. Likewise, we need to learn to leverage the differing skills, views, perspective, knowledge, talent of various people in our team to have maximum impact as a global leader. 
So my friends from around the world, one country, one world. And as you start a new term with a new team, with a new sense of common purpose, let me remind you of this. I look at the people in the room. I notice you have an amazing global platform. Use it wisely. Because if your only goal is to own the tallest trophy, uh, get the longest title, you're aiming too low. Because this is a platform for you to speak to the world. You have the unique power, unique platform, unique purpose to make the change you want to see in the world. So one country, one world, I leave you with one dream. Open your ring fence. Increase your DQ. Help humanity connect through the power of communication and leadership. Back to you, Maggie. Thank you, Minaj.